there was no negative or no positive tests here in the last week or so. So obviously that's important. Phase four of the NHL's return to play beginning with some good news. As teams hunkered down in bubbles in Toronto and Edmonton, the league confirming no new COVID cases over the final two weeks of phase three. In phase three, we weren't in a, a bubble, so guys could go out, guys could go to restaurants, do whatever they wanted. I think everybody um, kind of shut it down on every team they had to if we're going to have no, no positive tests, so I think that's good. This comes as Major League Baseball canceled two games Monday due to a COVID-19 outbreak with the Miami Marlins. But hockey players don't expect their case numbers to bubble over. You know, baseball is obviously different. They're traveling around all over the, the U.S. and uh, in different cities where, you know, there's high infection rates. So um, as players, I think we feel pretty safe at where we're at right now. COVID restrictions, just what are the new daily wrinkles for players as they prepare to phase into bubble life? A journey that could last up to 10 weeks. Don't get to grab your own food. That's that's a little different, uh, you know, being served. But you know, I think coming into the bubble and you know, we, we know what we're, we're focused on. The key here for us is just being comfortable with the uncomfortable. Um, it's going to take some time. We know that, but um, obviously, it is a little weird being home, but being in a hotel instead of uh, your house. But there are efforts to make the players feel at home, like family photos greeting them as they arrived in their hotel rooms. you got to make your little one-bedroom apartment here for the next couple months as, as homey as you can, and they've done um, a great job for us with, with the pictures. And the first taste of actual competition goes Tuesday night, with exhibition rivalry games aimed to get players' heads quickly focused. Uh, there's no time like a regular exhibition game this season to jump in, okay, we'll fix things. you got to be ready to go on game one. So I think you'll see players dialed in. I think you'll see great effort. And that rush of competition should short-circuit fears over cabin fever, as players hope their extended road trip doesn't end before hoisting a certain revered mug. Instead of only being on the road for four days or a week or ten days, we're hoping we're going to be on the road for at least a couple of months. In Edmonton, Courtney Terrio, City News.